Hi guys, today I'm here with a tutorial. Um, I'm not the best at this, but um, I've been in this look a lot um, in the past week and I thought it'd be fun to share it with you guys. So the star of the show today is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in pome uh, Pomegranate Punk. I've actually worn this um, probably in the, the past week and I've worn it by itself um, when I'm in a hurry for work. I've just put it on in the morning and buffed it out a little bit. soft brown color. But a few nights that I did go out, I actually added my naked two to it. So I wanted to, and this is another love of mine. So I thought it'd be an opportunity to show you guys how I use them together. So, so yeah, so this is the finished look. I just really um, like it. It's very neutral as well, but it's got a little bit of, um, you know, edge to it. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, thanks so much, guys. So I've got my foundation on just to save a bit of time and uh, keep on watching so you can see the Okay, guys, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our Maybelline Color Tattoo in Pomegranate Punk. We're going to grab a crisp brush and just get some of the product in there. Go and put this color right on our lid. Just continue adding that color onto your lid, brightness that you want. And just bring it up a little bit into the crease and buff it out. Okay. When you've got that color, we're going to pick up our Naked 2 palette and we're going to grab this color called Tease. Which is a matte, matte brown color. So only that bright color that you have, and we're going to grab that on a fluffy brush to blend, to buff that color out. We're just bringing it up so we can have that as a transition color. And it helps us, helps us out with our blending. Then we're going to grab a, a contour brush, which is just a little, it's an e.l.f. brush. It's just got a bit of a point and a bit, it's kind of like a, a pencil brush and we're going to go into Busted which is beautiful brown um, purplish color it's pretty dark so it's got a bit of purpley undertones on that color to darken that outer edge really well I'm first going to start with a circular motion so I can get the most of the color on that outer edge and then bring it up into my crease. Then we're going to go in with Chopper, which is beautiful rose gold color. I'm going to go in there with a flat shader brush. So just pick up that color and make sure you tap this one off because it does have a lot of fallout. And we're going to press that into the middle part of our eye and blend it in with the busted color right here. So right in the middle and just tap it in. Then we're going to go in with white decay. Gorgeous color. Fluffy brush, pick that white decay up, and we're going to go right in there and with windshield wipers just blend those colors together. And also go in the middle to try to blend the busted with the chopper together to make sure there's no there's no harsh lines in there. Okay, once you've got that on, grab a small brush. I'm just going to be using this MAC. Uh, flat shader brush to pick up um, Beauty Call, which is a beautiful um, champagne uh, pinkish color. I'm going to be putting that into the inner corner of my eye to highlight and bringing it up as well to highlight my under my brow. So first I'm going to grab this brush and just go right into the inner corner. And grab a little bit and just go under to highlight at the bottom of your brow. Now we're going to grab our pencil brush again and go into Busted, just to tap it a tiny little bit and just go underneath to darken 
your lashes, your lower lashes, and bring it in to touch the the booty call, and bring it up to to a point so it can kind of be like a little bit of a cat eye at the end. And then with a fluffy brush, go back into beauty call, uh, highlight under the brow bone, and blend all those colors so that you don't have any harsh lines there. All right, guys. Once that's done, we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna grab a black eyeliner. Today, I'll be using the Savvy by DB, which is an Australian brand uh, black eyeliner. This black eyeliner is amazing. Check out black that is and how smooth. We're gonna go into our waterline. Just pull down a tiny bit and line your eye. I'm gonna actually grab this little Elf concealer brush, and I know it's a concealer brush, but it's such it's so tiny. I actually like to use it as a liner brush. So I'm going to go into this beautiful blackout color, which is just a matte black. And I'm going to grab that on that little brush and do my upper, upper lash line, just to darken that area. Not a thick line, just a tiny line. Okay, it's just a very fine um, top line. Now grab your eyelash curlers. I'll actually be using my e.l.f. Um, eyelash curler and I'm gonna curl my eyelashes and put on my mascara and I'll be right back okay guys so this is the complete eye look okay, okay now come now let's do the rest of the face we're gonna be using the Havana blush I'm actually really liking this blush I think it's gonna be wonderful for the autumn and winter season here that's coming up in Australia okay so with the stippling brush I'm gonna go into that product and and I also like to put my blush more higher up not really in the apples on my cheeks I like to go a little bit higher up so just put that into your product and I do like a lot of blush but if you feel like you've gone overboard with your blush I always like to grab uh, just a Kabuki brush no, with no product at all and just kind of help that blending together but I am a, a blush junkie <laughs> okay so for the lips today I'm gonna be using this NYX color in rose and my Revlon lipstick in soft nude so I just want to I'm going to line my lips really quickly and then fill in my lips just grab your finger that lip liner in so it's not too harsh now with soft nude from Revlon I'm just going to go right in So guys, that's the finished look. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for all the beautiful comments and um, yeah, we'll chat soon. Thanks guys. Bye.